Now that we know a little bit more about exponents, what we're going to do is we're actually going to show you a little bit of a proof about why uh, the zero exponent rule works. So first of all, we'll look at a little example here. Uh, 4 to the zero pack power. Actually, we've already talked about that. It has to be 1. So, uh, And what we're going to do is we're going to basically take this right here and say, well, we have 4 over 4. Well, we know what 4 over 4 is equivalent to. Obviously, 4 over 4 is equivalent to 1. But what we're going to do is we're going to basically go ahead and uh, manipulate this a little bit. So I'm just going to put equals 1 because we know it's going to be equal to 1. Anytime you divide 4 into 4, you get 1. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm actually going to move it up here. So when I do that, I will have the 4 from the numerator and then times that 4 from the denominator. Well, since I move the base from the denominator to the numerator, what it's going to do is it's going to change the sign of the exponent. Well, now what I'm doing is I'm multiplying those like bases. So as you can see, we have 4 to the first times 4 to the negative first. So the base is going to stay the same, and what we'll do is we'll add our exponents together. And when you do that, you'll get 4 to the 0 power. So as you can see, uh, it makes sense that 4 to the 0 power is always going to be 1, because that's going to be equivalent to 4 over 4 uh, through this nice little proof here.